Hi, my name is Jim and welcome to preworkoutchallenge.com. This is my website where I review exercise supplements and home gym workout equipment. And today we're going to talk about creatine. And this is just a quick video for an update on the best pre-workout with creatine or the creatines with the most workouts. I'm also going to go over a couple other things about creatine that you may not know. Uh, so stick around for that. Hit your like button if you like this, and also subscribe to get updates on my channel about my new reviews. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over um, to my review and best pre-workout with creatine for 2021. Uh, so anyway, the uh, what is uh, answer some of these questions in my uh, in my review. What is creatine? What is in creatine supplements? Is creatine safe? Um, how effective is creatine? So let me answer a couple of these real quick for you. Um, creatine is a naturally found, it's not an amino acid, it's a naturally found element in your body. So it's okay to eat it, uh, to, to eat it. Um, when they make it in a lab, it's simply mixing two things together. So it's not a, a, a big chemical reaction or anything. Um, I'm also, there's a, a, a creatine HCL and a creatine monohydrate. Uh, that's pretty interesting. I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, when to take it, uh, effectiveness, creatine, I would say it's the most studied and probably the most effective muscle mass builder, um, that that's out there. So this combined with a pre-workout, I really like that idea. Um, I'm surprised there's not more to do to, to find, uh, lastly, creatine is safe. Um, there's no, you know, you can overdo it and on anything take too much. Uh, just stay within the correct range, which I'll talk to you about, and uh, everything will be okay. The um, I did leave, leave some pricing. Um, this is the black powder, which I've just updated this for. These also are other great pre-workouts, and they're fairly inexpensive. Uh, highest I've got is a $2, uh, $2 um, dollar price tag. Not $2, but $2 signs. Uh, anyway, so a pre-workout with creatine. So there is a, uh, the creatine monohydrate, and there's a whole lot more to this, but you're supposed to get about five grams per serving. Uh, the creatine HCL is closer to two. Um, not many pre-workouts have the five grams or the two grams that are needed, um, but this is an excellent supplement along with that. And I believe it's still an effective amount. For example, well, this one right here is 5.5 grams. So that's, a, that's about 500 milligrams more than the recommended amount, but it's not so much that it's gonna hurt you. Um, this also has a lot of other things going for it. Uh, the did, it does have, um, it only has 100 milligrams of caffeine, which is fine. Uh, it's still more than a cup of coffee, but then it's got the Elevate ADP, ATP caffeine citrate and vitamin B. So this will get you up there where you need to be. Um, it has ingredients that uh, uh, support fat burning. Uh, plenty of beta alanine, which is a great, um, great for endurance, it's amino acid. And um, also uh, I did have one, one downside, it did have arginine, but it did not have citrulline. And that's one of my favorite ingredients. So I was a little disappointed in that. So let me uh, move on. Uh, this one has three grams of mono, monohydrate and one gram of nitrate. So that totals four. So that's still an excellent choice. Uh, two grams of monohydrate still, um, better than nothing. Uh, it's about half the recommended amount, uh, but uh, you could also take this in, you know, with a creatine, take this with the creatine before and then take a creatine supplement afterwards. Um, I do have uh, on this website, I do have a uh, best creatine post if you want to look that up and it's very inexpensive. I don't have one over $20 for a container. Uh, this has got a two-stage release, extended release, which I think is cool. That's part of the reason it's on here. Um, three grams of monohydrate and three grams of monohydrate. So these all have a pretty good amount. Um, there's not many pre-workouts that have uh, HCL, which that is creatine HCL right there. The HCL is a little bit less studied, um, but it is just as effective from what I've, uh, what I've researched, what people think. Uh, monohydrate is the old standby. It's very studied. Um, there is a little bit more to it with that because you're supposed to preload on it. So HCL is more convenient and more expensive though. So uh, how effective, and I, I told you a little bit about this at the beginning. 
Um, here's the two grams for the HCL and the five grams for the creatine monohydrate. Um, so uh, let's see, I guess that's about it. Um, my favorite one was the black powder pre-workout. I recommend that one. Doesn't have the um, citrulline like I talked about, but the Endo, Endo Rush still four, four milligrams. The other ones are three milligrams. Uh, so these are great pre-workouts with, um, with caffeine, excuse me, creatine. So uh, hit like if you like this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, check out my other reviews on pre-workout, uh, preworkoutchallenge.com. Also remember, look for, look for my uh, on the search bar. Look for the best, look for the best creatine. Um, I've got both HCL and creatine monohydrate on that. So thank you for listening.